Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're doing a little uncut video. Raw. This is gonna be really raw and real. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm sure you have, but on the weather lately, there has been a hurricane called Hurricane Ian that has been heading towards Florida. It made its way through Cuba and it gained a little more momentum. It went to a category three and then four. It was supposed to hit Tampa. Yeah, it was supposed to go to Tampa. Really like bad. It was coming towards our house. It was supposed to hit Tampa and it turned into like what a category five almost i think yeah and it changed directions to us yeah so we evacuated florida two days ago we were in chicago um this is our hometown and uh luckily we did do that because uh right now we've literally just been like going through it so if we seem a little down um we our neighbors just sent us a picture of our house that our fence is just totally destroyed. I did start crying because and, um, it's just emotional because it's like yeah. me and Bill have worked so hard in our house and it's like it could easily just be swept away in a matter of like, you know, this fast. If, if I'm, don't think I'm smiling also, it's just crazy that this is actually happening to us. This is the first picture that was sent to me by my neighbor. Um, the fence in the back, as you can see, is a little destroyed. The fence in the front right there. And I was like, okay, that's bad, but it's not terrible. And then he sent me this picture. And so it goes, my heart. it goes from that to that. It's just totally destroyed. And there's only a little bit of fence up. And my neighbor's fences, it looks like if I zoom in way back there, it's actually, uh, their, their fences are starting to get blown apart and uh, all destroyed as well. So our power is out, which means all our ring cameras that we do have set up are out. Yeah, we have a total of one, two, three. We have five cameras around the house and we cannot look at any of them we have three outdoor cameras two indoor cameras we cannot have any access so we to them honestly have no idea if our know, a window if, broken we don't yeah. we don't know our front doors might be broken our window one of the windows there might be water in the house like raining i mean we we literally have no idea how it looks at all until the power gets turned back on i don't think it's going to get turned back on anytime soon it could be days before our power even gets turned back now, on. now i want to say this we are very lucky we are not in florida and yeah. for everyone that is in florida it's definitely more fearful for them because they are there yeah. during the actual storm and you know going through these life-threatening positions and weather conditions like it's like very scary and we're very blessed that we honestly had this trip planned for yeah. a couple months now like our neighbors like literally the one that took that photo like they're still there in the same storm like the heart of the hurricane is literally hitting us the middle the worst part it's like 140 mile an hour winds it's absolutely like just terrible, terrible, devastating. And like our, we're just the start. Like I've seen people, their boat docks have been like swept away. Um, their power lines outside of their house, trees have been knocked She's down. There's, there's so much stuff going on. And it's crazy because like, even like Cuba, like with the, with the hurricane, like this is not even bad compared to like how other people had it. And it's just insane that like, that is like happening at such a big scale. Like they haven't, like Florida hasn't had a hurricane in over 20 years. This yeah, bad. This bad. And yeah. today, right now, as we are watching this like unfold, it's it's the storm, the heart of the storm is literally just hovering over our house. And we just, all we can do is wait and, like, and hope. It's just what breaks my heart is we worked so hard in our house. Like there's so many things that me and Bill have done. And it's just like, it's scary that a window could break and stuff just comes flying in the house. Our, our flooring gets, to, I, it's just like all these like what ifs. And I know that's like, you know part of the whole thing i but. was finding a video of the hurricane so this is what it actually looks like in florida and if i zoom in you'll see that um that center right there that's where we live right there that is literally where we live that if you go right there that's it's literally our house like we are probably a good two miles inland which is only this much on the map so right now i bet you the storm is like I don't even know if it's halfway over us yet. It just makes me emotional. It's like just crazy. It's crazy that it's like it's literally that bad. Like everyone thought it was gonna be bad, but not like that bad. I'm trying not to cry. And it got even worse. I know. It just so, makes me sick to my stomach. We just want to make this video um, to give you guys an update about what's going on because we don't know how our house is gonna be. Our fence is already destroyed. Um, At least and we're then, safe and we're okay. We got our kitties with us. Um, the cats are doing really good here. I don't know where they are right now. I thought those over there. Um, so yeah, we do have both of our kitties and they're with us safe and sound. And I'm just really praying that, just really praying that everything's okay. And we also wanted to also film this video. This is my second point is just to like tell everyone like stay safe. I know um, it's crazy. And if 
they didn't evacuate. I hope everyone comes out like we okay were, and we like lucky, not hurt. We were lucky enough to leave. Yeah. And for people that weren't lucky enough to leave, like we well, don't even have. We're just thinking about everyone. We don't even have like covers on our windows too. Like everyone, like a lot of people have hurricane shutters. Like people, I can't nothing. imagine. Can't imagine staying in the house and not having hurricane. And shutters. other people are probably like. You guys live in Florida. Why didn't you prepare? It's like one of those things. You don't think something like that's going to happen. Well, and they, then it happens. People are not. First of all, first of all, people are not going to be thinking that because you can't prepare for something like that. You can, but like if something's so bad, like it, it's just, first of all, we just moved down to Florida a year and a half ago. So it's like we're new to Florida. And honestly, I didn't even think about the hurricane shutters until like we literally were having a hurricane. By then it's too late. You can't even like buy them like they're People's all sold out and roofs are flying off yeah like shingles Trees shingles are, are going down. there's 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 so much stuff going on right now i just keep getting alerts but we literally cannot check our cameras like we are it's like we have our house we have everything set up if the if the wi-fi just went on for like 10 minutes we would be able to see stuff but like for all we know everything could be like wet in there or like the, 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 everything could be fine but we'll definitely keep you guys updated probably Friday's video um, if the storm's okay, if not Monday. We just want to give you, like, I don't really know when we're going to have a next update on this because we're not home. We don't leave until Monday, October yeah, we're 3rd. we're going to get home Monday. Which so we hope we are able to get home. Yeah, I mean, after we get home, hopefully the neighborhood's fine. I just feel bad because I can't be there after the storm to clean it up. Like, right away. You know what I mean? Like, our neighbors are going to be coming out the house. Neighbors that we don't talk to. And our literally half our fence is in their yard right now. And I feel bad. Like, even though it's not my fault, I just feel bad. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just hope none of that stuff. Like, the thing that happens is it's not the wind and rain that is bad, guys. It's the flying stuff that gets into the storm. So, like, people's fences, when they get, like, destroyed, like, that's the stuff that's going to get, like, launched into people's windows. You know what I mean? Sorry, my hair looks terrible. I oh, literally... You're cute, baby. No, I don't. No one's judging you. No, I don't. But, yeah, you guys, we just want to give you guys a quick update. Raw and simple, like, not uncut. Like, this is, like, our raw reactions. And we'll keep posting about it on our Instagram. And if, TikToks. If any updates. Yeah, we post another TikTok about it because, uh... Yeah, we did not think we were going to get the heart of the storm, and we are literally in the heart of the storm right now. Like, our houses, our, all of our neighbors, all of our, um, like, you know, so my sister's in it. Yeah. My sister, my older sister's in it with her so, boyfriend. you guys, comment down below. Send a prayer to everyone in Florida. Send a prayer for us, and hopefully everything ends up being okay. I hope it's yeah. just the fence that's destroyed. And if you're also somehow watching this video, and you are one of them that are getting hit by the storm, you've already gotten hit, or you're about to... Let me just say, like, we're praying for you guys. If you already got hit, you know, I hope everything's okay. But if you haven't yet, like, make sure to, like, literally prepare. Like, board up board up your window. But like, do everything because it's bad. It's, like, it's worse than, like, we thought it was going to be. Because mm -hmm. yeah. at first it was, like, a category three. Now it's a five. That means there's winds up to, like, 145, maybe 50, 160 wind gusts, I think. I think 160 is the category five. That's, like, that's when it changes. It's crazy. It's absolutely insane. But well, this just, like... Make sure you guys follow us on social media because we'll be giving yeah. more updates on TikTok and Instagram stories. So mm -hmm. um, make sure you guys follow us and get all the updates. We're um, praying for our neighbors. We're praying for our house. And for honestly, family. all of Southwest, anyone that gets affected by this. So we'll keep you updated. Make sure to follow our other socials, like we said. Um, we hope you like this video. I know it's super quick, but we just wanted to, like, you know, be transparent and, like, show, show you what's going on in so our life I know life a lot right of you guys now. have been messaging us asking how we're doing. and Oh, dude, if we were staying there... I'd be so scared right now. I don't now. even know what I'd... I'd probably be bunkered in our closet. Like, I don't even know what I would do. I'd be terrified. You can't control. Like, if if a, if a fence comes flying at you, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. Literally. So, I'm just blessed that we were, we were able to fly out. But, um, yeah. So, we're going to end this video right here. We hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below any uh, questions, concerns, or um, just, like, your prayers and stuff. We love you We really guys appreciate it. Um, so much. And yeah, we'll, we'll catch up with you in the next video. But until then, peace. peace. Love, love you guys. guys.